Boom, what is up, Wanderers? It's time for another One Take Bag Review, and we've got a really special one here today. This is another bag from Jansport, which you know is a bag company that I love. Um, I love their lifetime guarantee, and I love some of their bags. So I love their beefier bags, not the little ones, not the ones with the tiny straps, etc. But this is one that I've had my eye on for a long time. I finally found it. And you're gonna have to do some searching if you want your very own. But this is kind of the beefed up version of my favorite Jansport bag ever, which is the Jansport Hatchet, which you can still buy readily online, Amazon or Jansport or anywhere. But this is uh, the Jansport Watchtower and it is so good. So spoiler alert, I love this bag. We're gonna get into it. You know what we do on this channel, one take bag reviews, where we go all over, we do a full walkthrough of this bag, inside and out. We get into all the nooks and crannies and talk about everything. Then I'm gonna give you two things that I love about this bag, two things that, eh, not so much, um, and then an overall recommendation. If you can get your hands on a Jansport watchtower, should you pony up the money? All right, let's dive in. So, exterior walk around of this bag, First off, you can tell there is a lot going on on the exterior of this bag. So if you are a minimalist, where you like all your organization on the inside of the bag and just nothing going on outside, not the bag for you. We've got one front pocket, two front pockets, two water bottle holders on the side, another front pocket. And then on the back, we've got um, our really nice straps uh, with a couple of attachment points and a sternum strap grab handle. All the basics are covered. You've got really nice cushioning on the back of the bag as well, and some compression straps on the side of the bag. Okay, you also have nice zipper pulls and attachment points all over the bag. Um, you've got uh, paracord for all the zipper pulls that I was talking about a second ago. You've got a little Jansport logo up top here, kind of out of the way on the top of the bucket lid. Um, and then another attachment point on the bottom of the bag. The whole thing is in this kind of typical book, pack, <laughs> book bag material that Jansport uses on almost all of their bags. Uh, it's really nice, it's really durable, it's bulletproof, it's gonna last you pretty much forever. All right, so what's the deal with all these pockets? Let's get into it. All right, this pocket right here, little tiny pocket, you can see a gray interior is kind of the contrasting interior going on. I put a whole bunch of tech stuff in here. By the way, these are my favorite little pens. I'm gonna put a link in the video description, but um, how cool is that? So, tiny little pen, easy to carry around. So, lots of tech up here in this top pocket. And we'll zip that right back up. Bottom pocket, what do I have going on? Well. I went ahead and used it for my power brick and my cords. You can put even more in this pocket. Um, it's about the size of, let's see, we'll call it two three by five index card packs <laughs> right here. So it's a nice size pocket. Then you've got another pocket on the front, which is just kind of a straight uh, slip in pocket. It's this got this gray silvery interior, runs the whole, size of this front panel of the bag. I don't even have anything in that pocket right now. Um, on the side, as I normally do, I've slipped my battery back up into the side there, and I've reserved this one over here for actual water bottles. Over here, on this water bottle holder, but not on the other one, you have an actual pocket. So you can see right here, I've tossed pocket knife in there. So. It's neat to have a, a, a little pocket on this water bottle holder and you can use these water bottle holders as always as drop pockets. But that's not all. We've got a pocket on this kind of bucket hood up here. This one is felt lined, okay? So you can put your sunglasses up there and they won't get crushed. I've got, um, you know, my AirPods and just some little bric-a-brac knickknack up there, okay? Now let's open up this bucket lid. All right. I'm gonna tilt this up so I can show you guys what's going on in here. You have a lot of pockets, a lot of organization on the inside of this bag. You've got a little key fob up top here, a little key fob. You've got a tablet pocket I'm using for my switch. 
You've got a laptop pocket I'm using for my tablet. Confusing, right? But I mainly use an iPad carry where, whenever I'm out and about. And then you've got one, two, three little pen holders on each side. It's tough to see here, but three little pen holders on each side. And you've got a mesh drop pocket and then two little admin panel pockets there. No pockets on the front of the interior of the bag, but lots of space, right? Bags in my bag as usual, lots of space in here. And I'll flip it around to show you kind of how cavernous this interior is. So it's a really big kind of bucket size bag, um, you know, about the size of a five gallon bucket. And that's what I like about it. It's not minimalist. It's not, um, you know, exactly what you think of when you think of a tech bag. But for me, I mean, just drop the junk in here. Flap the bucket lid closed. And I can get to everything that I need to really easily. The exterior pockets mean that I don't have to open up the main compartment unless I want to. Um, it's really, really cool. It's a good bag and it's got the perfect blend of pockets, I think. So, two things that we love about this bag. Well, you just heard me say it. Pockets, 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 pockets. Not only are they pockets, they're incredibly useful pockets. I'm actually going to use this one here for a little tech um, uh, cord organizer. You'll see that I've got a whole video on those cord organizers. I'm going to slip one right in there, okay? Um, so pockets, pockets, pockets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven usable pockets on the exterior of this bag. Amazing. And they're all really useful. They all have zippers. They all, um, yeah, the, the sizes that you want. There's no random unusable pockets. Did I say seven? I don't even know if I counted this one up here, which is in insanely usable. Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I really, really like about this bag is the form factor, okay? So the actual form of this bag, love it. Love this kind of bucket shape. It's the uh, same thing I enjoyed about this Hex, same thing I enjoyed about this UAG. Um, I like a bag that holds its shape, but I like the, a bag that is kind of flat on the bottom and is more buckety. Um, it's just more useful for me than a bag that kind of curls in like a turtle shell that, you know, flops over. I need enough space um, to, to hold all the things that I want to hold, to toss little bags inside the bag, all, all that stuff. You guys know. Um, so those are the things I love. I love the form factor, this kind of buckety shape of the bag, and I love the number of pockets this bag has. Two things that I don't like so much about this bag, and this hurts my heart a little bit because this is one of those kind of holy grail bags that I've been looking for for a while. First thing I don't like, the straps. I, I wish they were about a half an inch thicker. And by thicker, I mean wider. They feel a little dainty. The cushioning's fine. And in, in practical use, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. I just, they get, they get really narrow at the bottom and they feel just a little bit dainty for how, how big this bag is and how much crap you can put in this bag when it's fully loaded out. So I'd like a little bit beefier straps, just a little bit. And I gotta say, it ain't a deal breaker. This next one would be really nice, which is I'd like a zipper right here and I'd like to be able to access the laptop compartment from the exterior of the bag without opening the bucket lid, okay? So you've got a tablet and a laptop sleeve on the inside of the bag. I'd rather just have the tablet sleeve on the inside and an externally accessible laptop sleeve um, from the side. But to be fair to Jansport, this was not designed as a tech bag. This was designed as a hiking bag. And I think it just makes an incredibly good tech bag. Now, should you buy this? Well, I've got bad news for you. This bag is discontinued. You're gonna have to look on the secondhand market for a Jansport watchtower and they don't come up very often. There's also a collaboration that you're gonna to have to watch out for. It was Jansport and a company called Hippie Tree. Those bags usually are running in the $250 to $500 range. I snagged this one for about 40 bucks, okay? 
You've just got to get smart about setting your alerts on eBay and Poshmark and any other secondhand sites that you're looking at. Um, set an alert for Jansport Watchtower if you like this bag and you'll snag one eventually. You just got to be a little bit patient. Okay. Took me quite a while um, because I didn't want to pay a premium. I didn't want to pay $200 for a Jansport Watchtower. I wanted to pay under 50 bucks and eventually I was able to do it. You can too. All right, everybody, that's the review of the Jansport Watchtower. I hope you loved it. I love this bag. Um, it is going to be one in my heavy rotation as a daily driver. It's just too cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, share these videos too. Um, if you don't mind to Reddit, share these videos to uh, Facebook, wherever else. It'll help the channel grow. Thanks, you guys. See you next time.